Well, howdy, tubers. Well, I'm at Matt's place today. Well, not today, actually. I went down to Fort Scott, Kansas to see my son. And uh, and then on my way back, I said, well, I'm going to come see Matt. Well, um, he wanted me to tell you, first off, not to get one of these heaters. Because it works if you're right here, but not here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, anyways, but we wanted to show you his... Ultra Cruiser start here, which he actually got pieces from two people, right? Justin. And and uh, Dick, right? It, well, I did, but everything that's in this is from Justin. Okay, this is from a guy named Justin from several years ago that started cutting out a lot of these parts uh, at my house. And so he wasn't happy with his the DC skin because it got some wrinkles in it during uh, transportation from wherever. And so we have cut some slightly oversized pieces and have fit, of course, uh, we, by using, I'm gonna get, a, get on yeah, that. Let me, let me move this. Uh, by using this, my original. That's his original template. My original template when I built or it looks blue in here. It's green there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when building my original Ultra Cruiser. So it's getting used. And, but here's his shop. Got plenty of aluminum. That's a, that's a 20 there. That's the one you got for me, right? Uh, yep. The and one then on that's the another 16. I think so. Okay. Yep. And then we got some 25 and 40. Well, you don't need any 25 anymore. Nope. Just 20 and 16. Yeah. So, anyway, I thought I had better do a video. Of course, I wanted to do a video when we had that skin on there. Well, let's wait till we do something. Well, now we got all the Clecos in there. Because, oh, um, he wants to do, like I said, about putting these 1 16th rivets in here. We've only got one in there so far. To hold that bulkhead there while you put the, the skin on. I mean, we put put one of these one sixteenth rivets in each tab, at least where there isn't a isn't a a flute in there, go in between there somewhere. Because now, in his case, and I guess in you guys' case too, you would you'll have to drill them out to get the beam out. Now, on my on my ultra cruiser, when I build it from the kit, since it's not on the beam, I didn't have to take those 1 16ths out because I didn't have to take it apart to take the beam out. You got to take it apart, yes, to deburr it, and he will have to do that too. Yeah, and I've still got to put the ET and he's, ET's yeah. and he's, the, and the doublers, doublers on and there. The, and he has already had the E2 in there. So... I was thinking about putting it in there and go ahead and cutting the beam off, but I thought it would be better. It's more work, but it would be better to go ahead and get this, all this up to C done. So I got a good straight uh, fuselage. And then once I get all the way up there, then I can go ahead and cut the beam off, put E2 in, do all the back. And then, and then start going, go forward, and going forward, and forward and riveting. Yep. <clears throat> Work in progress. If Dennis wouldn't have come down, I wouldn't have got anything done today. And the so. thing is, I didn't come down. I come up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, I thought I would do a video for you all. And, and um, I because the last time, well, the last time I was here to help him on it, I flew down. And completely, until I got to the airport to fly out, and then I took a video of flying out of Butler, uh, well, as I was taxiing out, I didn't get a takeoff, but I, I thought, man, I didn't take a video for my tubers. So we got one this time. I wish we had that skin on there so we could show them, show them that. Uh, now, then we'd have to take all those Clecos out and put them back in again. So anyways, there you go. And God bless. You have anything to say? Thanks for coming down, Dennis. Yes, sir.